Hey everyone, it's a girl, Shauna J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So appreciate you guys stopping by. I'm gonna try to do this video without too many edits, man. Like, because editing is like the real pain of the like with this whole YouTube thing, that's the hardest part. I know Amber Chantel used to try to do that joint too, like where she wouldn't edit her videos. And I'm like, you're good, okay? Because the way my accent is set up, the way I've been making mistakes, the way my memory is set up, like I'll be forgetting what to say, I need to edit. I did pick up some stuff from Bath and Body Works that I definitely want to share with you guys. I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm actually gonna start out with one that I'm wearing right now. Woo, I like it. Like she's nice. Like let, let, let's jump into it. But mm, yeah, let's let's jump into the first one. So I'm actually wearing Winter Berry Wonder today. This is what the packaging looks like. And of course, I did pick up the body cream, which is right here. The notes that we have in here are Ruby Frost, Winter Berry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. So it's definitely a sweet berry drink type scent. The berries are a little, like I said, tart. They're definitely like purple berries, like purple berries. They're sweet. They're a little tart. They sparkle a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm getting a lot of vanilla, but there's definitely a sweet creaminess there. It smells awesome. Like it smells really good. And I realized something that I didn't realize before today because I actually wore this outside today. What I realized is that it smells amazing in cold air. Like it smells good when the wind hits it. Mmm, so sweet, juicy, creamy. Oh, I love that. It smells. Mmm. And it seems like something that would last because I've been wearing this one for like three hours now. It just smells good. Like it's not super like complex or anything like that. It just smells good. Guys, I'm so sorry about the noise. But yeah, I like this one. Winter Berry Wonder. If it doesn't really smell like a winter scent per se, because I think you could wear this one all year round. Because even though it's sweet, there's something also refreshing about it. But there's something sweet and creamy, which makes it perfect for cooler weather. So I do like that. If you see me going back and forth, it's just because I'm trying to get the scent to float. Mmm, that smells so freaking good. Like, period. Okay, so another one that I've been wearing is a Dream Bright. Okay, look at the packaging on this one. Amazing. Amazing. It looks so freaking cool. Like, isn't that pretty? Anyway, the notes that we have here are sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. Truth, I wasn't going to pick this one up because I'm like, I don't know. The name Dream Bright and the packaging didn't really speak to me at first. So, and the notes definitely did not speak to me because I'm like, who needs another berry scent? Like, come on Bath & Body Works. But let me tell you, this one is different. And I appreciate the direction that Bath & Body Works took this one into. Because like I said, I thought it was going to be typical berry. And that's it. And I definitely don't need another berry scent in my collection. But this one is actually really, really nice. Let me spray it out just to remind myself of what it smells like. So at first I get the berries. And the berries here are like dark. They're sweet, they're juicy, they're mysterious. When I smell this one, I actually think about blackberries and like blueberries, maybe a little bit of black currant. Like that's kind of like the vibe that I get from this one. Super, super nice. And of course, under that, a couple of minutes in, you get the vanilla. Now the vanilla here is not super gourmand. There's a slight gourmand touch to it. It's more of a, I would say like an oriental vanilla, maybe like a Madagascar vanilla. I've seen a couple of comparisons to Angel EDP by Moogler and even though it doesn't smell exactly like that, it definitely gives off the same vibe. Manners like, you know, the patchouli and all the dusty, dirty notes in that scent. This one doesn't have it, but the sweeter notes, you know, that oriental feel, the sweet feel, that slightly chocolatey feel that you get is kind of here, even though there's no chocolate here. So this is definitely like a nighttime, wintry type of scent. Definitely sexy, sensual, gives grown woman vibes. Like that's what I get from this one. Now, if I could compare this to any other scent in my collection, I would actually compare it to Into the Night by Bath & Body Works. Not to say that they smell alike or anything like that, because 
they don't, but they kind of have the same vibe. Even if you don't like Into the Night, I think you'll still like Dream Bright because I think it just went into like a different direction, if that makes sense. I may have to edit this part. <laughs> I don't know. Let, let's move on before I start to mess up really bad. Okay, so another one that um, I purchased is the Snowflakes and Cashmere. All right, this is what the package looks like. And of course, I did pick up the body cream because your girl don't play around. I like to layer. And the reason why I like to pick up the body cream, the matching body cream, is that it's because sometimes the body cream legit smells even better than the body mist. It just carries the fragrance. And sometimes they add... A couple of different notes to the body cream and it just elevates the whole scent so i really do like to buy the body cream just to see what surprise they may have in there for us now let me smell the body cream i think this is my first time smelling the actual body cream the body cream smells pretty much like the body mist yeah i would say so now the notes in snowflakes and cashmere are vanilla cashmere cream caramel woods and frosted clementine now there is something that I definitely want to talk to you guys about in regards to this scent but I'm gonna talk to you guys about that in a minute let's talk about what it smells like now for sure this is a creamy sweet woodsy scent like that's basically what I get from this uh, scent is for sure a wintry type of scent like it's sweet it's woodsy it's warm it's cozy it definitely gives off that kind of vibe it's very heavy on the caramel woods and of course it's wrapped in that vanilla cashmere cream scent really really pretty really cozy it got super noisy outside so i had to edit that part out but anyway it does have a touch of maturity to it and i say mature it definitely doesn't mean like it's like an old scent it just feels a bit more like elevated you know it's like a step up from something that smells juvenile like it's like in between you know so this is kind of like the scent that i could imagine like a college female wearing or something like that now it does remind me a lot a lot of one of my favorite fragrances from Victoria's Secret which is Velvet Petals. I think they are like exactly like the same. So if you've ever experienced Velvet Petals, if you know what that smells like, you know what this smells like, Snowflakes and Cashmere smells just like that. But anyway, it's really nice and I'm definitely planning on wearing this one um, when it gets a little bit cooler outside because it's definitely a cool weather scent I would say okay guys so the next set that I have here is strawberry snowflakes this is what the body mist looks like and of course this is what the body cream looks like super simple I do like the soft pink packaging I think it's really really cute now the notes that we have here are juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot now I was pretty much looking forward to this set I think a lot of people are looking forward to this scent. I mean, the the, the name, why am I stuttering? The name Strawberry Snowflakes, it kind of makes you think, like, I wonder what that's going to smell like. Now, um, I definitely get that strawberry scent. It's like a sweet, creamy strawberry, super delicious, a very gourmand type scent. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm getting, like, a slightly similar vibe to Bonfire Bash. It's kind of smelling like that. Not so heavy on the vanilla, but there's like this slight smoky vanillic vibe to this one with a hint of pink bubblegum. Like, I don't know if my nose is broken. It has been broken for the past two weeks, but I'm kind of getting that. It's really nice though. Like there's a nice fluffiness to it. Like it makes you think about like maybe like strawberry marshmallow or something like that, but there's a slight smokiness to it. So it's like smoked marshmallow with a little bit of a hint of strawberry bubblegum. Does that make sense? Am I making things up? <laughs> That's what it smells like. It's really, really cute. This is the kind of scent that I would actually spray on my kids before school. It does smell a bit juvenile in my opinion, but y'all know if you follow my channel, y'all know that's actually a good thing, okay? It's really nice. It's a very cozy scent. It's also very intimate. Like this is the kind of fragrance I would wear to bed or something like that. You know, it's it's just one of those scents, like Netflix and chill, cozy type of scent. 
okay so the next scent that i'm gonna reach for is one that i haven't really worn as yet like i've smelled it a couple of times but i haven't gotten around to really wearing it on my skin like i've worn the other ones but i haven't really worn this one this one by the way has one of the prettiest bottles it's just so gorgeous but you know I love purple, so I'm not shocked that I really love this bottle. This is Starlit Night. Just look at how gorgeous this is. I also bought the body cream, of course. Super stunning. I really, really like the packaging. I think it's just freaking gorgeous. Now, the notes in here are Snowberry, Midnight Iris, and Sensual Agarwa. It's very minimalistic, so it doesn't really have a lot of frill to it. It's just not doing too much. I think most of what I'm getting here is that agar wood. So I must say I'm getting more of a woodsy scent. It's like a smooth, slightly sweet, musky, woodsy type of scent. And maybe under that you'll get a little bit of that iris. It kind of reminds me of... And let me let me just say this. I may be wrong. If y'all don't agree, that's fine. But it kind of gives me the same vibe as Bear by Victoria's Secret. I know a lot of people like Bear, but it just the wittiness of that fragrance. Or maybe it could be the fact that Victoria's Secret hyped up the out, out of it. I just can't appreciate it. This is Starlit Night. I think I'm actually going to wear this one tonight. You never know until you really wear a fragrance and when your body warms up and stuff like that. You never know what's going to happen when you actually put on a fragrance. So the next one that I have here is Frosted Coconut Snowball. I think I also picked up the body cream. So this is what the bottle looks like. Okay, a lot of snowflakes uh, bottles going on. I guess which makes sense this is their winter um, fragrances but this is what it looks like really nice now the notes that we have here are frosted coconut whipped vanilla sugar crystals winter freesia and snow kissed woods now I would say that the two dominant notes that I'm able to pick up here are the coconut and the vanilla yeah like let, let me just say this I think I have something against the way Bath & Body Works does their coconut. Like, like I've said it, like I've said before, I'm a Caribbean girl, all right? I know what coconut's supposed to smell like. And to me, coconut don't smell like this. And that's really my beef. Now, is, is it nice? Yes. Have I worn this one? Yes. Do I enjoy smelling it on me? Yes. But that coconut like that synthetic coconut it just i always complain about it if y'all follow my channel y'all know that i wear it but i'm always bothered by the fact that bath and body works seem to have a different idea of what coconut is supposed to smell like you know what i'm saying it's not my favorite i'm still working on it it's synthetic coconut a bit of vanilla a bit of you know a bit of sparkle to it which separates it from the other coconut vanilla fragrances that i have in my collection but um i think it's a pleasant scent but i would not feel comfortable telling y'all to like blind buy this one for example you know it's something that you'd have to try if you like the way bath and body works does coconut by all means you know then i think it will be safe but if you don't like the other coconuts from Bath & Body Works, I don't see why you like this one. But if I change my mind, I'll definitely let y'all know. Another one that I have here, where's the cover, is Vanilla Mocha Martini. Just look at this bottle. Gorgeous, okay? I, th I think it is just, it's gorgeous, all right? This is what the body cream looks like. Now, the notes that we have here are Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. Now, um, this fragrance right here is definitely a coffee scent. Like, it smells like coffee. It's a very literal scent. Like, when you spray this out, the first thing you're going to think for sure is that, oh my God, it smells like coffee, like creamy coffee. Yeah. It does remind me a bit, if I could find it. Let me see if I could find it. Okay. 
I can't find the um the body spray, but I did find the cream, which is a midnight amber glow. To me, it smells like that. To me, it smells like that. It smells very similar. There are some subtle differences, and I kind of think that vanilla mocha martini kind of smells like what a lot of people wanted this to smell like. So if you have this one and you know, you thought you were gonna get like a straight up literal coffee type scent and it's not quite what you got when you try this one, definitely look into vanilla mocha martini because it literally smells like coffee. But to me, I think it, it has to be like a repackaging of this scent. There's a stronger coffee note here for, you know, in my opinion, but they definitely smell very similar. I'm starting to think it's like a repackaging. I'm pretty sure it probably is, but there's just a hint of something more here. That that coffee note is just way more prominent here, but it's a very simple, literal type scent. Um, it's okay to me. Honestly, if I did smell this one in person, I probably would not purchase it just being honest because i already have this one and i'm not really a coffee person like i don't drink coffee i don't care for the smell of it so why would i want to wear it on my skin you know what i'm saying but if you like coffee i definitely get it i understand the allure so definitely would encourage you to try it if you like coffee let's jump into the next fragrance which is iced sugar plum now this is what the packaging looks like this is what the mist looks like, and this is what the body cream looks like. So definitely giving me Christmas vibes, Christmas theme. Now, the notes that we have here are sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals, and a whipped marshmallow. Now, this is for sure a gourmand scent. It's way more gourmand than I would have expected, only because, wow, only because it's called iced sugar plum. So this one is like, it's like very, how do I explain this? It's like icing. It's like butter icing. It's like buttercream icing. Yeah. It has like a buttercream icing type of scent, which is weird because I thought there would have been more emphasis on the plum. I'm not really getting like a plummy type of scent. Maybe from the body cream. Let me put a little bit of the body cream on. That's what it looks like. Let me rub it in and see if I'll get the plum from the body cream. Oh, but the, the cream is really nice. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm getting plum. It's, I'm definitely getting more of a fruity vibe, like a creamy fruity vibe from the, the body cream itself. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells really, really nice. It's definitely a like gourmand scent though. It's, like I said, it smells somewhat like buttercream, like some sort of buttercream icing type scent. Like that's what I get from this one. I like it. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of people will, but if you like those kind of fragrances, definitely try out Iced Sugar Plum. My phone is about to die, but that's cool because we only have one more set left. Okay, so the next one that I have here is Bright Christmas Morning. My screen is completely dark. I cannot see myself. Anyway, Bright Christmas Morning. All right, this is what the packaging looks like. Like I said, guys, I can't see anything. My screen is completely black. And this is what the body cream looks like. Also a bit Christmassy. The notes that we have here are ripe red berries blood orange and crisp apple now let me remind myself of what this one smells like i remember this one being very fruity yeah very very fruity um i'm definitely picking up on the berries and the orange it's like a mixture of berries and orange but the blood orange is like definitely strong here it definitely takes over it's tart definitely has like a citrusy bite to it I'm kind of surprised by that because when you think of Christmas, you don't really think like oranges and fruits and berries and stuff like that. So I'm kind of confused by, by that. But if you like oranges, if you like berries, if you want to smell like a fruit cocktail, that's on the tart side. 
I can imagine that you'd like this one, okay? The last one that I have here is Fireside Flurries. I like the packaging. It's super, super nice. I like the nice, soft pink color. Really, really nice. Now, the notes that we have here are Toasted Marshmallow, Pink Lavender, and Cashmere Woods. All right. I like this scent. Like, the initial scent is really nice. Um, you know, I get that toasted marshmallow scent. It's sweet, it's fluffy, and like I said, it has, like, this smoky kind of vibe to it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to intervene a little bit because at this point, I wasn't really comfortable with the review I was giving, so I'm just going to expand on what I was saying before, which is that this is basically a sweet, smoky marshmallow scent with a... I would say a deep woodsy dry down. That's basically what I get from the scent. Not a lot going on, but it's a really nice scent. And I do plan on wearing this one a little bit more when it gets cooler outside. It's definitely a cozy, wintry type of scent, um, which I really do enjoy wearing. Yeah, that's basically all I have for Fireside Flurries. I would say my favorites are... Um, getting oily i would say my favorites are winter berry wonder i really like the sweet purple berry juicy type of scent that it has with that soft subtle creaminess um and i also really like dream bright only because i feel as though it doesn't really resemble anything else that i have in my collection like it really smells different from everything else okay guys so let me see if i could get this video out for you guys tonight today is tuesday so if it works out, I'm going to start doing my videos like this, man. I'll see y'all in the next upload. Bye.